Welcome back, guys. So, about 50 years ago, uh, Peter Brown published this relatively short, well-illustrated book. It's an introductory book more than anything else, entitled The World of Late Antiquity. Now, we've talked about it before on this channel, and what it did was blast open this whole idea that the late Roman Empire uh, entered this period of decline and fall, in effect, because it focused on the continuity of culture, Christianity, etc., it creates a new field, late antique studies. And that focus has done wonders for scholars working on the period. What we're doing in this video is not talking about this book. We're talking about uh, what could be considered like a sequel to this book. And that is this absolute beast. This is the rise of Western Christendom. So basically what it does is it picks up um, where the world of late antiquity left off. So, this is the book's second edition, and not only has it um, expanded coverage beyond the Carolingian period, so about the 800s, but it goes now into the Viking era, and it actually is, like I said, double the size. It's a monstrous 625 pages. So, most of the work of Peter Brown, not all of it, but most of it, um, it's been concerned with the Eastern Mediterranean region, especially the Eastern Roman Empire, and the rise of uh, Islam in the Near East and North Africa. Now, what he attempts to do here in the rise of Western Christendom, as that title, you know, suggests, and I think he does an excellent job, um, is he tries to take that investigation west to, what is say, Italy, France, Spain, the British Isles, uh, Scandinavia, and, as it were, you know, fill in the gaps in what Brown has admitted in previous works. So the nice thing about this, what I really like about this, and, um, really, not just this book, but all of Peter Brown's books, and especially all of his articles, he's an excellent writer. So although this is freaking massive, 625 pages, not including the end notes in the bibliography, um, it's very well written, and it sucks you right in, so it doesn't feel like you're reading a giant book, especially a textbook, which is basically what this is. It feels like you're taking a bird's-eye view of Europe, the Near East, and the Mediterranean, and you're seeing the transformation of the Roman Empire into medieval Europe, from about 200 to about 900, 950. Now, in the process, what we're able to see is that, although in some places, yeah, there was decline, there was fall, um, in most other places, after a brief period of violence, things just kind of continue. The masters were different, but the taxes paid were the same. Now, eventually, not right away, but eventually, that shift from Roman uh, to medieval, it comes. But the benefit of taking such a large survey of the period is that we're able to really understand, and Peter Brown makes this exceedingly clear, that this wasn't like an event, so much as a slow, imperceptible process. Nobody wakes up in 476 and realizes the Empire was gone. Nobody wakes up in the mid-500s uh, when Heraclius is dealing with all his problems in Constantinople and says the Empire is gone. But at some point, people came to the realization that they were living in a different world. So if you want to understand how and why the empire dissolved, and what survived after, and especially how the structure of the Christian church um, lent itself to the survival of Roman institutions, and how people like Charlemagne and his Franks attempted to reclaim that legacy, you need to read this. The other nice thing about this is that although it focuses on the rise of Western Christendom, there are a couple chapters which deal with um, Christianity and monarchism in Persia, in Central Asia, and in China. So that's a really cool addition to this. It really takes a broad perspective. Now, before I end this video, I have one more point. I'm going to be doing a video specifically on the historiography of late antiquity and its issues, but you should be aware um, that there has been some serious pushback against Peter Brown's continuity view, notably by scholars like Brian Ward Perkins, um, and Peter Heather, in two books, both published in 2005. The Fall of the Roman Empire and the End of Civilization by Ward Perkins, and The Fall of the Roman Empire, A New History of Rome and the Barbarians by Heather. Those two books frame one side of the debate, as to what's really going on, how you'd read the evidence. While Brown's book, The Rise of Western Christendom, it frames the opposing camp, indeed it probably would not be incorrect uh, to call this the Continuity Bible, which is why, if you decide to pick this book up, which I would strongly recommend you do, you need to read it alongside those other two books. So, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll consider picking this up. Um, and until the next video, then, take care 
and I will see you all next time.